Here is the number one tip for how to save time as a content creator. You ready for this? Let's go. Batch recording content is one of the best ways to save time. If you're a busy mom or you have a full-time job or you're just busy and you want to make sure that you're maximizing every second of your day, like even before kids, I used to plan out literally every hour of my day, like back to back. Like I, I was just, I was busy. I wanted to live a full life. Like, <laughs> so my whole point is batching content. Here are three reasons why you should do it and why it can help you save time. One, you don't have to pump yourself up every single time that you're creating a video to get in that mindset of like, oh, now I'm gonna create a video. I have to really think and like feel comfortable and do my hair or whatever it is that you wanna do before you get in front of the camera because you gotta do that. You gotta like get your energy going and like get your mind in the right place so that you can bring people value because a whole part of creating content is that you're able to be in a confident mindset that you can speak to your authority so that people can understand that yes, you know what you're talking about. If you're just like, um, Today I'm gonna create a video and I'm not sure what I'm gonna talk about. Like, no, that's not how you show up. Like you show up like, I know what my game plan is. Here's what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna bring you value and uh, I'm really excited to do so. You know, like you gotta do something to kind of get in that mindset. And so if you can batch content, then you don't have to do that every single time that you create content. Like you don't have to go back and be like, okay, I gotta listen to my pump up music and I gotta make sure that I shower, you know? I mean, you gotta like do all these things before you create a video. And so if you can do that, then you only have to do it once and then you can get a whole bunch of content coming out right after that and you can keep your energy going if you once you get in the zone. So reason number two why you wanna batch content. You save time, you can plan ahead, you can actually plan all of the different things that you wanna talk about. Like let's say that you wanna talk about five different key topics that are all you know somewhat related and you wanna create content about them, but you don't wanna like repeat yourself over and over and over, like you wanna make sure that you're actually staying clear on what you're talking about, you can effectively plan what you're gonna talk about in those five videos, and you can sit down and you can do it right in a row. And you know that you won't be repeating yourself because it'll be fresh on the top of your mind what you just made in the last video. Because if I recorded a video last week and then I wanna record a new video this week, then even though it's it's only been a week, like it's not necessarily top of mind like what I talked about last week. Like I might repeat myself, it might be a little bit less clear, like the videos might not go together as well. Like you wanna make sure that your videos actually like align and make sense and tell a story. Like it's not the same thing as telling a short story on you know your, your story on Instagram, for example. Like obviously those are just like standstill images or five second videos. Like it's not the same as like a full on YouTube video or a reel, like all of these different things are gonna tell a different story. But at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that you're actually making sense and that the viewer can follow along with you. So if you can plan ahead in what you're gonna say, and I'm not saying to have bullet points, like I'm just talking freely because this is something I'm really passionate about and I wanna share this with you, but you can also make bullet points if you want to, or you can make an outline, you know, or if you really feel the need to, you can actually use one of my favorite hacks, which is a new hack that I discovered recently that I think is like the coolest thing that I did not know about for the longest time. You could also just write your whole thing on a script and put it on a teleprompter. And that app that you wanna to use to do the teleprompter is called CapCut and it's fantastic. And I will leave a link below if you wanna check it out. But basically you can actually literally write a whole script. And I don't recommend doing this for like a long form video cause that's just a lot. But for a short form, for example, like you can make your camera vertical and you can go into talking about like whatever your top tip is for whatever thing is that you're sharing. Like I, don't, I have no idea what your niche is or what you're sharing about, but really at the end of the day, if you're making sense, then that's, you know, you do what you gotta do to make the most sense in your videos yeah you can write out like an actual script and you can read off of it and you control how fast it goes you can control the speed so you can make it go faster or slower depending on how quickly you talk or how you want to feel in the moment that you're talking <laughs> so yeah that is another thing that i will recommend is that you can really plan ahead and make sure that you're getting into the content and that it makes the most sense. And reason number three is that you can very effectively edit your content after batch recording. So what does that mean? If you batch record, you can batch edit, which means that you'll be able to crank out content for a whole week ahead, if not more time. So let's say that you release one video a day if you're doing shorts, or let's say that you're gonna release one video a week if you're doing long form content on YouTube or two videos a weekly, you know, whatever your schedule is. 
you can actually create high quality content all in one sitting with one outfit, like what I'm doing for a few of my videos right now, or you can change your outfit totally up to you. I've done that before where I literally will like change my hair, change my shirt, and then redo another video so that nobody knows that I was batch content creating. And that's totally up to you if you wanna do that too. Like it doesn't really matter. I think again, at the end of the day, if you're bringing people value, then they're not gonna care about what you're wearing. They might not even notice that you're wearing the same thing. Um, comment below if you noticed that I was wearing the same thing in this video as my last video. <laughs> I'm just curious to know who noticed. And if you didn't notice, then that really just aligns with my point that it doesn't matter that much. But if you did notice, like, I hope I look good. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, one of the reasons why I'm wearing this is because I pretty much only wear breastfeeding shirts nowadays because I still have a little guy at home with me. And so uh, I just put this cute, nice looking jacket over so that I can continue to look like somewhat of a professional. Why I do this? I do this all the time for my full-time job meetings because like I, like I said, my whole wardrobe right now is like breastfeeding shirts. So I just put over a very nice looking top and boom, good to go. <laughs> And that's totally up to you. Like if you're way more of like wanting to dress up, like that's you too, that's fine. Like my whole vibe is relatable mom building a high value business and being able to create passive income while working from home. So this is how I work from home. I work comfortably and I wanna make sure that people feel comfortable when they're listening to me. Like I'm not gonna dress like all fancy because then I'm gonna be like, oh, I have to sit like a certain way. Like, <laughs> no, like I'm gonna show up in something that makes me feel comfortable so that I can be comfortable and talk to you and feel like we're hanging out, like we're grabbing coffee, like cheers. You know, like I wanna feel like this is a good space and I can easily get into a high energy like mood and be able to bring my zone of genius to you effectively without feeling weird about it. That just goes back to making sure that you're creating your content effectively and utilizing your time in the most effective way, even when it comes to batch creation and batch editing. So if you can do that, then not only are you saving time in your like zone of genius and all those things, but like you can do it without people even realizing that you're doing it. And then once the content is done, then you can turn it around a lot faster because all of it is there. And additionally, you can take a thumbnail anytime that you're talking. So like one idea for creating a thumbnail while you're creating your videos is at the end of your video or in the middle, like wherever you feel like you wanna do it, you just pause and you're like, and then you can screenshot that and do it. But if you want something more high quality, which I personally recommend, is as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to change my phone from video mode over to portrait mode for the camera. And I'm going to set the timer for three seconds. And then I'm going to start taking like maybe five to 10 photos of me, like whatever it is that I want the thumbnail to look like. Like it could be like me going like, cheers. Or it could me be going like, Hey, you know, or whatever. It could be like, ha, ah, you know, whatever it is that you want to do for your video thumbnail. Like it might not even have to be you, but if you're sitting and talking in front of the camera like this, it kind of makes sense to do that. But the whole point is you can easily do that. And then that way you don't have to like go back and do another photo shoot for the thumbnails. You do all of it batched together. So you create your videos, you create your thumbnails, you batch edit, you make sure that you're in the zone of genius. You got your energy flowing. You, you're there, you're showing up comfortably. It just makes sense. And best of all, you save time. So yeah, I hope that this brought you value. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you batch record content or batch edit content. I would love to know your strategy if you do something similar to this. And uh, if it works well for you, then definitely let me know. And of course, as always, I invite you to follow and subscribe so that you can get way more value down the road as I continue to share more of these awesome tips with you for creating content and being able to create a passive income online. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Have a great day.